Okay, so I wasn't originally going to film because it's just simple maintenance, but I actually feel like maybe some people could benefit from just knowing simple stuff. And I might do a little um, discussion about um, track, track tuning and stuff like that to help you um, better prepare your car for track stuff, like how much oil should you put in your car or whatever. Okay, so right now, I usually don't like doing night videos, but right now I'm doing an oil change on the car. I'm in the Texas heat, so it's like 100 degrees every day uh, for the next month or so. So nighttime is the best time to kind of work on it for me, plus this becomes kind of like an oven during the daytime. So um, I've already released the oil, you really can't see, um, but that's typically going to be like a 17 millimeter um, right there on the oil pan. Um, then you have the... Uh, you have the uh god it's dark uh, okay so i'm able to put a light on this so down there you have my oil filter right there let's see if i can there oil filter that should be hand tightened don't don't tighten that so hard that you can't use your hand to take it off it's just a pain in the ass if you do so that should be hand tightened and that should be replaced. Um, I would say every oil change to keep myself, you know, not liable for you guys, but for me, I might go in oil change without changing the oil filter. It depends. I kind of dropped low oil pressure uh, this go around on the track. So um, I just wanted to replace everything in case there might've been some shavings that might've got in clean all that out and help the engine stay lasting long so I can continue to track. So how much oil should you run? So I have a skunk two baffle, which is in my previous videos. I also have um, a track tough uh, baffle, which goes directly onto the oil pump. So there's two baffles that are in there. I still get low oil pressure. So to avoid that, what you can do is um, you can put six liters in, uh, probably 6.5 liters. Uh, thanks to that info from uh, Ryan Huffman, uh, championship winner at autocross. So that's good information. So 6.5 liters, um, so far I've known has been ran. Um, right down here, I have seven liters uh, worth of oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put six liters in, see how it does. If I need a little bit more, I'll add some while I'm at the track. So I'll go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so I went ahead and put, I went ahead and did 6.5 quarts. Um, I dumped all my dark oil up in here. Um, so I can close that lid now. So the skunk two baffle, I guess my review is it's a baffle it's better than nothing, but I think with the OEM pan, it's, I think it's too deep. Um, and the oil gets away from it still. So with the unit two pan, I think it will get the oil closer to the oil pump. So, um, my recommendation is to go with the unit two uh, baffled oil pan. Um, I'll probably be going that direction as soon as I have time or when I get some other stuff out the way. But for now, I'll just run extra oil. With the unit two, you should be able to run like five quarts like you're supposed to. But for now, I'll just be running 6.5, uh, sorry, not quarts, but uh, yeah, 6.5 quarts. Yes, that's correct. So right now I'll be running 6.5 quarts. All right, um, so next, let's talk about uh, suspension. So when I drove it on the track, if you look at the last video, um, I was having like uh, kind of being bouncy, like you could hear the engine kind of bouncy. So Eagles Canyon looks, I guess, smoother than what it might be. You know, it does have a lot of elevation changes and whatnot, but it isn't as smooth as it, it has imperfections. It has 
dips, has bumps. So um, with the dips, I had my rebound set all the way up. I wanted to know what was the difference between bump and rebound. Bump is a lot more sensitive. I can tell you that right now. When I was touching bump and I turned it up too high, it literally made me spin out on a turn. Like the car felt like it was on ice. I knew it was going to spin out. It was just a matter of time. Soon after I spent, spun out, I went back to the pits and um, I adjusted it down. So next time I, I tried to rebound all the way up. The rebound, it looks like you can play with it a lot more. Maybe it doesn't have, the rebound adjustments aren't as effective or I'm not sure, but it looks like I can play with the rebound a lot more. So what I did now is I went ahead and softened up the front. So the front is at, I think the bump is at 10 out of 33 clicks. So there's 33 clicks, I think it's at 10. And the rebound, I think I put it at 15 on the front. In the rear, I said, hey, why not use the rear to fight all the weight transfer so it can stay stable and responsive? Uh, why not change the rear to um, do all that work for me? Because the rear just rides along and it can use a little bit of rotation, so being stiffer is not all that bad. So I stiffened up the rear. Um, the rear sits at, I'm right now I'm gonna try 25 for rebound and it's probably at uh, 20 for, uh, not 20. Well, it might be 20, I'm not, no, for bump I would have went a lot lower. So it's probably 15 for rebound and, tw uh, no, 15 for bump sorry, and 25 for rebound in the rear. So that's where my settings set at right now. And also one thing you always wanna do as a track person, you wanna keep a notepad. I document all my tire temps, um, my tire PSI when I'm off the track when it's hot versus when it's cold. So cold meaning before I get on the track and hot meaning after I get off the track after a long rough session. session. So um, let's look at my notebook real quick. Okay, so here's my notebook. Um, this is what I've done in the front for bump and rebound. And this is the rear going down this line right here on this side, fronts this side. So passenger, driver, uh, driver, passenger, and that's for the rear and the front. So these are my notes. So, like I said, I'd keep track of tire, PSI, stuff like that. So that's kind of the stuff you want to do when you're tracking your car. Just kind of document what it's doing. So, all right, and that'll be it for this video. Um, stay tuned for my next video. All right, peace.